Hey everybody, I'm Oliver and I would like to quickly demonstrate you my latest H5P content type which is called AR Scavenger and was released just now and um, well AR is a hint about what it can do uh, because AR is short for augmented reality, you may know that. Um, yeah, but without further ado let's just have a look at what it can do and to do that we can go to my webpage which is this one and of course um, you know I will put a link in the description and up top on YouTube but you, you know how that works. So if we scroll down uh, we can already see it. Um, this one here which says welcome aboard R. Uh, it's not Pirate Day but R. Yeah it's a pun I, I couldn't resist. Um, it doesn't work here because if I here click on start it tries to use my camera and because I'm recording right now it can't use my camera so that doesn't work. Um, that's a pity. I, I can do something else. Um, I have my smartphone here and um, if the magic works let's have a look. The magic does work. Here's my uh, smartphone as you can see. I can scroll up and down, up and down, up and down. So you see that is life. Um, I can go to that content type which is the same and I click on start here. And uh, yeah, that just as you can see, obviously I'm now having a look at my recorder. Here's you. That's you, looking at yourself, at the camera. So um, uh, I can. Oh, maybe we go to full screen, which is more impressive, maybe. So um, this is the content type. It's just a camera. No, it's not. Um, what, what what can you see? You can see a little icon at the top there. And Reminds a little reminds me, reminds me a little bit about uh, of uh, multiple choice questions. And if I click on that, it says find a marker to see an interaction. Hmm. Okay. So um, obviously I have to find something. Um, but what do I have to find? Is it text? No. Um, if I scroll down on the web page, so like here, you can see this thing, which reads hero, and this is a marker. And now let's have a look. Let's go over there and see what happens when the camera finds this marker. Then it opens an H5P interaction, which is a multiple choice question. Um, could be anything, could be an interactive video, could be, I don't know, an image, text, drag and drop, whatever you like. And of course you can answer that. Uh, let's say, hmm, I'm not too impressed yet. Let's say, no, this is not cool. Let's check it. And it, of course it is correct because there is no, no right or wrong. And you may have noticed this other button with the arrow became blue, so, um, oh, come to that in a bit. Um, but let's go back, just click on the icon again and uh, again we have the camera. Now I scroll down a little and we'll see this other marker which reads duck. So let's see what happens if I move my camera again. So there it is, it's the image of a duck. And of course it's not generated automatically uh, but you can upload 3D models in uh, GLTF format. A GLT format is it. Um, yeah, and you can then um, you know, virtually go around the image depending on the marker position. Um, yeah, so that is what you can do. And let's say you only have H5P interactions with quizzes and, you know, they have results and now you're done and uh, you want to quit. So now you click on that icon with the arrow and you will get that end screen you know that how that works in HFP you can give feedback and of course you can retry and um, could start again and uh, have a look all over again so um, that is what you can do um, maybe that's all um, if you want to use that one you should go to this web page and scroll down because there is a section uh, which describes how you can install it because it is not yet on the HFP content hub it will be but it may take some time um, yeah, you can just download this um, this file, install it in the library page, you know how that works. Uh, if you want to have a look at the source code, you can, it's openly sourced, you can uh, do whatever you would like to. And uh, one more important thing you will read down here, because um, right now, currently, I don't know when you watch this video, but if it's today, as my today, or a little later, then um, H5V will not allow to upload these GLTF or GLB files that you need for 3D models. So here's an explanation um, how you can do that until uh, the H5V core team updates the um, updates updates uh, the the plugins. They will do soon. They will very shortly. Um, there's another hint which may be relevant. Just just read it if you need it. And maybe if some other questions like where can I get 3D models? Is that all? Will it never do more? Uh, yes, it will. Uh, just have a look at the web page and um, yeah, read for yourself. 
and then try for yourself because you can install it on your own system if you want to and yeah let me know how you think it um, if it's good if it's not good if you have other ideas yeah just just get in touch with me okay see you next time bye